Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you do not miss the latest uploads. Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make Notion templates to sell online. What, what is Notion? Notion is a SaaS, like a um, software as a service, and they literally allow you to kind of curate your workflow and everything that has to do with your business. But still, the the good thing about Notion is like what you create can be exported in a PDF format, can be linked out to people to use in a digital format as well. And then an idea popped into my mind, why don't we make money off of Notion? Well, yes, I'm not the first person to think of this idea, but I have a way to simplify this whole process for you easy guys so please stick around to the end because it only gets better so the first thing i want you to do is log on to notion and this if you're on the ad youtube channel i want you to know that this is my pillar mastery machine and it's a tool that i created solely with um, notion it's an amazing tool i was able to I use it personally for myself and it allows you to track your progress with your branding pillar and pillar are private liberal rights um products if you don't know what they are already perhaps i'll leave a link to my pillar youtube channel to check out to understand what really pillar is so i use it to track all of this and i also have a planner for this so as you guys can see there is so much you can do with notion personally and as in commercial as a commercial like income source for you so the first thing you need to do is like if you want to like base your whole business on notion then you have to follow this hack that i have for you head on to book vote book vote, or better still watch my video on how you can create low content book with book vote. then head on to, i think i have a low content book here that i created with book vote. okay Let's search for that we're basically going to be creating low content books and be exporting the interior to sell on etsy or selling links to the digital formats for people to have digital planners online now especially if you're a productivity person but a um, youtuber or blogger you can always like sell your template templates that you use personally you can sell it to people and tell them that okay this is how you personally work and it's your workflow. It's very easy to sell Notion templates. So this is one that I have for you. What I'm going to do with this one is very quick hack and um, okay, very quick hack here. We're going to be duplicating what we find on that particular file. Okay, so this is it. It's loading. This is low quoted book. Okay, okay this is it. And it was a note that I made. So we can definitely make this a notion. Remember, my common tagline is the only limit to um, using online tools and internet marketing is your imagination. If you can be creative enough to think of new stuff, then you surely excel in this industry. So let's head on back to our notion template and then click on this. Probably it's going to show you my pillar planner. Then you add a new page here. So you can title it anything you want to name it. Perhaps it's your productivity tool. Productivity. And so this is your whole. You cannot share a link to your whole Notion website. Rather, you have to share a link to each of them. These are mini sites that Notion allows you to create. Now, you can add tables. You can add boards. But I prefer to start empty with icon. So now you can add anything you want to add, depending on how you want it to be. You can create sub pages. You can create to do list. You can create. Um, you can basically leverage the tools that template has it, that um, Notion has itself. So before you can create Notion templates, you have to have a format you have in mind. It's going to be easy if you already use Notion because I sell a particular template. This is one I sell, the Planner Pro. Because in the normal, this is a free tool, but I only allow you to track or plan 20 PLR and that's it. Unless you want to like erase your past PLR and you reuse the space, then you're good with the free version. But if you want to keep keep track of all of them just in one view, then you need to upgrade to the planner PLR Planner Pro 
pillar planner pro and basically the difference is that i allow you uh, this is just a duplicate of the first one but this is editable i gave them the right to kind of add more tables add more checklists edit it how they want to but on the other hand this one is just you have to use it the way it is they cannot edit anything so if you want to see how it works this is it you click on this this link option allow editing okay so that's how it basically works so the next thing you want to think about now is when you've come up with your digital planner idea how do you bring it into life now you need to be very um illustrative creative that's why i opened the tab with our low content book we saw a low a notebook so why can't we create a digital notebook i've never created that before but let's try it out together um, perhaps text or lines okay gallery in line tables in line list in line calendar in line timeline in line board in line depends on you okay in line equation mention the page okay 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 yeah. I have a to do list like nope. it depends on you what you want to create so plain text mm, just keep adding things and when you're done let's let's add a table for example table and you can add quotes you can embed a page in it you can add tables okay so this is the table that I added add plus plus more tables and that's that so when you're done with what you created just click on this and click um export you can export in html markdown svf csv file or pdf now if you're using it as a kdp low content book you have to export as a pdf and upload it to kdp as your interior as your interior if you're trying to embed it on your website you export it as html format in html format so include sub pages and let's export it in PDF format. And you can see how it looks. Okay, let's take your time. And that is that it's done. It begins to download here. And um there. this is it. Make sure the reason why this untitled up here is because um I left it to appear there. You want to clean out any nonsense or any fluff on your file there, especially with these tags and names, and make it like appropriate for a, a, an interior. But the most prominent way people sell neutral templates is just as they are in the digital format. How you do it is you click on share, and you get the link, copy the link, and then you head on to perhaps Google Docs, Google Docs, then you paste your link inside, create a PDF. Okay, let's do it together. Let's be a live walkthrough. Head to Google Docs together. And you paste it on your Google Docs. If you have a new Google Docs, then you download it in um, preferably PDF format. And then that's how you have your document to share with people. Let's start with a blank template. Basically, how people make their PDF. We have the link. You just have to click on the link. Okay, perhaps you say get access to your Notion template. Okay, make this finer. Add to this folder. And then you add the control A and link inside. Right? Then when we download this, perhaps in PDF format, it goes down to our inbox of our computer file, and then you see how it comes out at the end of the day. So let's see. Okay. It opens up. Come on. Okay. Nope. So 
now I can just click on it and it takes me to where I want to be. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you applied this method. I'll leave a link to my PL Mastery machine tool, the free tool that helps you track it. And that's it, guys. Bye-bye.